Hello guys, my name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools and welcome to my OBS tutorials. Just to let you know that this video is part of my OBS training series. And if you just started watching right now, I encourage you to go back and start from part one and that will help you to easily understand every single step on how to get started and set up your OBS the right way for live streaming. But you don't have to if you feel comfortable and you just came to learn specifically the information that I'll be sharing in this video. So go ahead and enjoy the video. All right, guys. Um, so last time we have seen um, how to add scenes and sources. We have seen how to download the OBS. So now this is time to go live on YouTube. Okay, this is your last step. Um, we can uh, we are going to open OBS. Okay, I already have all these scenes that we had last time. Uh, they kind of saved. Um, I have changed um, my microphone. Uh, sorry, my uh, camera. As you can see, now I'm using um, my phone. It's coming in using a USB connected to my computer. Um, as you can see, I've taken. Um, uh, I'm using it kind of vertical. Uh, simply, it's just a personal preference. That's why, if you can see uh, on my pre-show, sorry, on my show, I have three layers. So the first one is my USB microphone, the microphone that I'm using right now. The second one is my camera. This one, you can see if I turn it off, it's gone. Okay. And the third one is my background. Okay. So I had to add a little background because otherwise it would be just blank. Uh, black okay so this is the only thing that I changed from last time uh, so we're gonna go ahead and um, go to our YouTube page so this is my YouTube page I'm logged in live production tips and tools and we are going to go here to create and go live So as you can see, I have uh, the first option is stream, this icon right here. The second one is webcam and the third one is manage. Okay. So this is basically where you're going to set up your stream if you're using uh, a dedicated encoder, uh, something like OBS. Okay. But if you had a webcam connected directly to your computer, you could easily uh, simply go here, okay? But for the purpose of this video, since we are using OBS to uh, live stream, we are going to go here because OBS gives us more controls, you know, adding text and all the stuff that we have done before. If we didn't have OBS, it was just a webcam, you wouldn't be able to add um, all the images and lower thirds and, you know, everything that we have done in, in OBS, okay? So basically, we are going to go here and what we're looking for is this stream key. OK, so we are going to copy. We need to copy this stream key. OK. Just copy it. Just copy it. OK. And go back to OBS. Um, we're going to go to settings here and we go to um, stream okay so we are going to choose youtube rtmp okay and uh, server uh, you can simply choose primary okay so keep it to primary okay and i already had some something already in if you have something in there, you just have to delete it and paste the stream key that you we just copied from YouTube. OK, once you're done, you hit apply and OK. 
so now we are ready to live stream okay whenever we we hit start live streaming here it's gonna go live on youtube okay so before we go that uh, before we do that let's uh do some um so a little bit of work here just to you know to make sure your live stream is ready for um youtube uh go to edit here <clears throat> okay and as you can see you have options to add some details okay the title of your live stream this is what people are going to see online so you want to make sure you have a more relevant title so let's call it um testing live stream okay for now and you can put your description here see sorry hello this this is a test for live streaming with obs okay but this is just me okay so if you if it was a church service you would say a little bit of something about your church service if it was a concert whatever it is you just gotta put in something okay and you've got uh visibility here so if you want to go public which i believe you would want to go public because that's the whole point of live streaming you simply go um you choose public but for the purpose of this video since we don't want to publish this right now i will just um choose unlisted so basically what it means it means nobody will be able to see the stream unless i share the link to them okay so i'm sure you can even uh, uh save it uh, as private but you know like honestly unlisted is just fine okay uh restrictions uh it depends for me i don't have any category um i don't have uh you could if it's it's music you could put entertainment it's comedy so you choose whatever fits your needs okay if it's a church i believe you go to non-for-profits um, or activism and activism so it really depends on why you're streaming and uh, finally you've got your thumbnail here okay so this is what like the cover picture what people are going to see when youtube is suggesting to people um your live stream if you had a thumbnail created before i didn't create any thumbnail um you would you upload it here okay if you have playlists on your page you could add your live stream on your playlist so for now i have another playlist here but i'm not gonna add it to any of my any of my playlist today and finally you have to go through all this respond to youtube questions is it made for kids not made for kids so all these are like the stuff that you have to kind of you know fill out to make sure your live stream ranks in youtube and youtube understands exactly what it is about okay uh, you have tags you can put in some tags um video language if it's in, in english french whatever language spanish just like go through everything here and then once you're done um you can go to live chat as well and once you're done you just click save okay so now we know that whenever we go to obs our live stream is ready okay so all i have to do is go to obs and start streaming okay so now we yeah uh, we should be live on youtube let's go over youtube and check it out as you can see now as soon as you hit uh start live stream uh in obs you can see that youtube starts live streaming right away as you can see my feed i'm getting the feed from obs 
um and everything is streaming right now okay youtube will tell you um the stream health okay uh analytics how many people are watching right now the chat rate you know like you give you all this information for right now there's nobody watching so uh it's just me so that's why okay an average watch time everything will be here all the information so basically if you want to share the stream you just go here um here share okay and you've got your link here okay so let's go ahead and click the link and see if we are live okay so this is exactly what we are streaming right now okay so yeah so this is it as you can see we are live and i am going to go to obs um say a switch to that was my pre-show let's go to show and if i go to youtube you can see i'm there okay so there's a little bit of delay it's normal so there's a latency it's normal so the time to kind of process everything from um your camera to obs obs to youtube live it's normal okay and once you stop streaming let's go over to youtube um so basically you go over here to youtube and click end stream perfect so once it's done uh youtube will give you an option to edit your stream if you want to edit for people who are going to watch the replay you can go edit in studio if you want to if you don't want to you can even delete it because youtube is going to save a file that will stay online if you want to delete you would delete if you don't you can keep it up there and you have options to actually go edit in um youtube studio okay but for for now we're just gonna click dismiss and we are done okay so back in obs you can just click stop streaming as well and we should be good hey guys thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you hanging out with me if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel and if you hate it please put it down in the comments and let me know so i know how to improve myself thanks again and i'll see you on my next video take care